I want to talk about selling the seller on buying because it is negotiation at its fundamental best. Several months ago, I got an email from Michael Andrew Wilson. He read my little red book of selling, little black book of connections. He loved them. And he wrote me to tell me about it. Very nice compliment with one notable addition. Michael lives in Paris, France. He moved from Newport, Rhode Island to Paris in 1989. He ended the email by saying, if you're ever in Paris, look me up. When I checked out his website, all that I could say was, wow, he's like one of the world's leading authorities on antique furniture. He worked for Ralph Lauren, designing and furnishing all of his retail stores, and has purchased over his career millions of dollars worth of antiques and furniture at the world famous, actually the world's largest antique market, Les Marchés, someone's going to kill me from France, Al Pousse. In Paris, it's near Port de Clean Court Metro Stop, and he's also done it all over Europe. Last week, as chance would have it, we, my partner Jessica and our daughter Gabrielle, were in Paris between seminars in London and Vincenza, Italy. We had a few days to spend in the City of Light and celebrate Gabrielle's birthday. I emailed Michael. He invited me to his home. Actually, I called him, too. I go, Michael? Yeah, this is Jeffrey Gittimer. Jeffrey Gittimer. I said, yep, I'm here. <laughs> in his office, we had a glass of incredible French wine, and he told me about his history. After he left Ralph Lauren, he became a private shopper for Americans and others seeking to furnish their homes with art, antiques, and 20th century design furniture from France and all over Europe. It would be inappropriate for me to mention his customers' names, but suffice it to say, they're household celebrity names from the movie, sports, music, and, and business fields. Great story, but not half as great as his home. Among the hundred incredible pieces that he has, there was one original model castings of the Statue of Liberty. Oh, wow. It's the terracotta piece from 1889. It's so powerful in its presence that it commands that you stare at it literally for minutes at a time. Having had the good fortune of seeing art and sculpture all over the world, this was by far the most compelling piece that I've ever seen. I told Michael of our love of antiques, and he smiled and said, come on, let's go shopping tomorrow. I'll take you guys places that most Americans will never see. Cool. So we started our day, and I saw way more than incredible artifacts. I saw Michael Andrew Wilson in his element. In sales, you know that product knowledge plays a major role in communicating value. Michael was off the chart. He knew everything about every item that we saw, and he even knew every seller. He greeted every one of the vendors like an old friend. With more than hello, a firm handshake, a huge smile, an exchange of words, Michael doesn't just know the product. He also knows the culture, the customs, and the business process. I asked him about negotiating prices, and he smiled and said, In Paris, you have to be very careful when you shop for antique ephemera and furniture. Many dealers have several prices for the same item. They size you up and get as much as they think you're willing to pay. They all know me, and I know them and the value of their things. I pay less than anyone else. First, I asked the price. Then I asked for their best price. And sometimes you'd be amazed at the difference. Personally, I would love to explain what I saw, but words fall short of the history, the art, and the artifacts on display. There were more than 2,500 dealers, and all of them had their own museum. Instead, I'll give you Michael's business qualities and strategies, and maybe you can compare them or change them to yours. Rapport is his leading conversation. He has friendly engagement with everyone, even if it's only bonjour. He knows the territory, every dealer, and all their offerings. He has wisdom, not just knowledge. Not just what it is, but its history, its creator, its importance. He's respected by customer and vendor alike. Very rare in any business or any industry. He's a fascinating storyteller. He held my complete attention for two straight days, even his websites, www.mawparis.com and thewilsonreport.tv tell amazing stories of his adventures in Paris. He has ethics that would make his mother proud. 
He has standards that he lives, not just follows. He knows his product, his customer, and his sources better than anyone else in his business. He has the characteristics of a long-term winner, friendly, humble, wise, relaxed, self-assured, approachable. He loves his work. He's passionate about it. He loves to serve. Beyond manners, he's genuinely servant. He attracts customers through word of mouth. For 20 years, every one of his customers have called him first. Okay, I love the guy. Not just as a new friend, but as an authority and a businessman. Michael Andrew Wilson is the essence of European class and American shrewdness. The next time you're in Paris, look him up. He would love to take you shopping.